the lure hound's not coming up now. Oh no, this is the worst. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, we are retro failing here. Oh my gosh. Retro bassin, kicking some ass and wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray-Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40-year-old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Out on the bass boat, making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin'. Well, good morning and welcome to Retro Bassin. It is early fall and we are just getting on the water on Lake Travis, a lake that I probably have not fished in at least a year or so. Was looking at the fish reports last night and it sounds like the bass are sort of in that pre-fall transition. The bait is slowly starting to move shallow and there are some reports of definitely fish deep, but also some fish starting to creep slowly into some of the many, many coves that this lake has. We are uh, gonna fish it old school today. I've got a tackle box full of some vintage lures. We're gonna try to get them deep. We're gonna try to get them shallow. We're gonna try to get them wherever we can. Stick around. Admittedly, one of the reasons I haven't fished Travis in a minute is because I historically don't do particularly well here. Uh, it is just a big lake and to me, just about every inch of this thing looks fishy. So I spend a lot of time casting to what I think are some really good spots, some really good ledges, some really good banks and pockets and stumps. And again, I've got a few fish, but I've never really lit the world on fire here. So I'm gonna to try to change things up a little bit today. And first thing I'm gonna do is really spend some time with my sonar going around looking for bait. So really, really good episode of Fish the Moment. And they were talking about the ways to locate bass on a lake that you've never fished or a new lake. And really the first key is to figure out where that bait is. So I'm gonna scope around here, try to find some bait. I have been seeing some splashes early in the morning in some really, really deep water. Uh, so right now I'm in around 20 foot or so and I don't see anything. So I'm gonna kind of keep working this area. I feel like there should be some bait fish off of this little cove and hopefully we find them. Oh, there's a fish. Got one. Woohoo! <laughs> All right. <laughs> First little fish of the day on the old flat A. Nice. Uh, I've been working a few little pockets. Uh, it's been a slow day for me so far. Uh, I've been trying to locate the fish on a body of water that I've not fished in uh, well over 12 months. I found this nice little stretch. Uh, you can see there's sort of a nice slope. There's a few little uh, stick-ups in there and a nice little Lake Travis bass. Woo! <laughs> Not quite as big as we're going for, but it's a start. Here's one, a little guy. <laughs> Woo, look at that. Little Guadalupe bass on the old bomber flat A. Nice, nice, nice. We'll get on a pattern. The fish are getting smaller with each bite, so that's not necessarily a good thing, but that is a pretty, pretty little fish. Let's get him unhooked and take a look at him. Hey, buddy. Ah! Dag nabbit. Oh man, these guys got some sharp teeth. He's like a little barracuda. So there is a super pretty Guadalupe bass. Just look at the spots on him. Oh man, that is super cool. That is, I think, the second Guadalupe I've ever caught since I've been in Texas. So that's a goodie. See you, buddy.
Here's one. Another nice one. Ha <laughs> ha! All right. Woo! Another Guadalupe. No way. Let's turn the boat around and get a look at him. The sun is like literally right behind us. So sorry about that, Bass and Buds. Ah, uh, that is pretty cool. Another one on the old Bomber Flat A. Let's get this dude unhooked. Ha <laughs> ha Yet another Guadalupe bass. These guys have super, super sharp teeth. There must be a little school of these dudes. That is really cool. Uh, just, just a different, different looking bass. It almost looks like a sort of a spotted bass. A little bit of a rock bass, it's uh, definitely a cool one. Nice. Well, we've been on the water for a few hours. Definitely a slow start to the day. I was kind of trying to do a couple of other uh, different episodes, but ultimately I decided I need to get some fish in the boat and went to one of my confidence baits, the old crankbait. For me, I love just going down a bank, chunking and winding uh, the properly sized crankbait. I feel like it allows me to cover water really well I feel like it's just one of those things that every cast, I feel like it's likely gonna get hit. And in this little pocket, it's gotten hit a few times, so that's a good sign. Let's get one more. Huh? There's one. Oh, he's in a, oh, he's in a stick up. Come on, get out of there, buddy. I <laughs> got one. <laughs> And he's in a stick up. See if we can go get him. Oh man. <laughs> and we got him out. <laughs> It is like Guadalupe Bass Festival today. Uh, definitely no Justin Royal Dragons, but uh, I am glad to get on Travis and actually start getting on a, a little bit of a consistent bite here. Third Guadalupe in a row for me. And I actually got him out of the sticks too. That's kind of amazing. Oh! <laughs> These guys fight like a smallmouth, I swear. Really tough little fish. <laughs> See you, buddy. Oh, is that a fish? I don't know if that's a fish. That could be a fish, that could be a stick. <laughs> what do you think? Is it moving? So I've got a fish and a snag at the same time. I don't know what to do here. Uh, I did have a, I do have a lure hound that I picked up recently. Um, we'll see if I, this thing works because I've got a fish on here. I don't know how big. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? All right, so the lure hound is caught. Ah, what do I have? Even <laughs> the lure hound's not coming up now. Oh no, this is the worst. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, we are retro failing here. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, I think I just saw the fish get off. Are you kidding me? Oh. This is not going well. I think there's a lure down here. I've got to back up. I think I just ran over it. But the line broke, the fish got off. Uh, the lure hound, I guess, worked maybe. I don't know. Oh man. <laughs> what a mess. Well, I'm gonna circle around and see if we can find a bomber flat A floating around. I don't wanna lose it. That's the only one of that color that I've got with. Surprise, surprise. Normally when you lose a crankbait, it's not the worst thing in the world, but when you're throwing old school gold like we do here on Retro Bassin, every lure uh, <laughs> it matters. So I see the bomber over here. We're gonna go try to scoop him up real quick before a bass uh, decides he wants to eat that top water. Oh my gosh, that was too funny. Haha, <laughs> for the save. Nice. <laughs> oh man, that thing's still got some wood on it too, doesn't it? Look at that. That is a good looking discontinued color of a bomber flat A, so I'm glad that uh, that thing is not on the bottom of Lake Travis. Time to reapply. I'm getting 
baked out here. Oh man. I'm not even gonna try to rub that in. <laughs> All right, well, we're sunblocked up. I've got the lure hound ready in case I uh, snag another uh, fish slash bush. That was a bummer. Uh, I did definitely have a fish on there. It broke off. I saw a little flash and it was honestly about as big as the other, so not, not too, too bad. Uh, but there's a good little stretch coming up here. We're gonna keep working it. Hopefully we don't lose our only flat egg in that color. I've got other colors, but you know. Oh, oh, that's a bigger fish. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, he jumped off. Did you see that? <laughs> he wasn't much bigger, but a little bigger. Oh man. I threw right into that shade. There's a little dock that's gonna come into frame in a second. And he just jumped on it right when it got out of the shade line. Oh man. Bummer. All right, well, this looks like a job for the lower hound. We've got another snag. This one I can see, but I can't quite pull the lure up. <laughs> oh man, oh man. So this thing is a pretty cool invention. I actually didn't know they still made these. What it is, it slides down the line. It's actually heavy. This is lead. And I guess these chains are supposed to hook the hooks. So there we are. It's all rigged up. I'm going to slide this thing down the line. And, <laughs> bass and buds. That is how it is supposed to get done. Check it out. That is really cool. So yeah, this thing slides down. It's supposed to slide over the top of the lure like that, hook it, and that one came right up. Uh, that was better than the last time we used the old lure hound, so I'm glad I gave it another shot. <laughs> now I've got a little bit of a bird's nest there. So I was driving up river and I found a unique spot with, looks like two natural waterfalls just coming right into Lake Travis. There's a sign up there that says the uh, island. So this is some sort of hotel or resort but it looks like there are basically two giant natural springs or waterfalls that dump right into Lake Travis. I'm totally gonna have to stop and throw just to see if there's any bass hiding underneath that waterfall. Oh my gosh, nice fish. There's one, ho, 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 ho. Yeah, buddy, come on. <laughs> there we go, <laughs> look at that. Right under the waterfall, a really nice large mouthed bass. Wow, that was really cool. There's a nice little shade pocket up here with some more stick ups. I threw the old flat A in and there he was. <laughs> uh, definitely the most scenic catch uh, on camera I think we've made on Retro Bassin. just got back to the ramp. I am getting ready to pull the old retro wagon. I am cooked today, officially, and it is darn near October. That is crazy. Uh, real quick before I pull the boat, I do want to talk about today's setup. So the lure that we threw pretty much all day, the one that we caught all the fish on, was this, an old school bomber flat A. This is the deep diving model, and I think this is a shad pattern. I'll have to look it up. I've got a few of these new in the package once we get back to the studio. Um, I think my line is 12 pound fluorocarbon and my rod and reel combo is a favorite that I received from my buddy Todd over at Bassin 101 YouTube channel. A while back Todd sent me a number of different old school rods. Uh, this is one of them. It is a Daiwa Apollo five and a half foot pistol grip rod. It recommended for a lure weight of a quarter to one half an ounce and line weight of eight to 12 medium action. Love this thing. 
and my reel is a Daiwa Mag Force. It's HT1000. Uh, I actually love this reel for cranking, and Todd also souped this reel up for me uh, a while back. So that is the combo on which we caught, uh, what was that, our four or five fish of the day. Thanks for tuning in, guys. If you're looking for more old school content, click right here. Otherwise, I'll see you right back here next Saturday, same time, same place. But until then, keep the carpet side up and definitely fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff. Welcome to Retro Bastion.